What is up guys, it's Matt from Skullbusters and today we're doing a Detroit Become Human trophy guide. If you want to go check out any of the trophies, it's in the iCard annotations or the description. That's included in the walkthrough series as well. So the requirements for this trophy, you need to kill Connor eight times. You need to kill Kara uh, to make the play playthrough shorter. And then... Uh, you can't kill her straight away because you have to do it on a, a certain chapter. And you need to kill Marcus at the end when he's doing the march. So this one's the hostage. We all know what it is. It's on the demo. It's on the game. It's the first chapter. You've got to kill Connor at least once. Every chapter. Not every... Wait, I said that wrong because it's not every chapter you can kill him. But when the outcome... Is you have to kill Connor. That's pretty much it for this chapter. Um, all you have to do is kill Daniel and kill yourself. Or, yeah, get Daniel to kill you. That's pretty much for this chapter. The next chapter is the interrogation. Pretty much you've got to make him stressful. Uh, make the guy very stressful. I don't know. I don't, what's his name? I don't know. Don't know his name. Basically, you got to make him very, very stressful. Uh, you got to make him confess. Then he, you got to make him self-destruct. And then, as the guard comes in, you, uh, he has to take the gun. You have to intervene. He headshots you. He headshots himself. That's it for this chat. So, uh, pretty much, you just got to make him confess and kill himself. So you got to do it the hard way. The way I did it, I used the memory. Uh, you got Probus member, that's the way I did it. Uh, but that's about it. You've got to make him just uh, you got to make him kill himself and kill you. The next chapter, or when you need to kill Connor, is I think I think it's on the run. Yeah, it's on the run. So I took the shortest uh, way to get on the run. It was where I slept in the car, cut my hair and all that, got out. You have to be noticed. The police have to notice you. Uh, notice Cairo. So for order for the death. To Connor to chase him. And then when Connor's chasing him. You've got to pretty much jump onto the motorway. With Cara and Alice. And Connor. Connor's got to follow. you got to lose the fight. you got to get run over. And that's where you can kill Cairo. You can either continue from here with Cairo. Or you can kill her off. I know it seems harsh. But yeah. For order, uh, for as you like, get through the play, uh, get through the playthrough quick. All you have to do is just kill Kara and kill Connor. The next one is the nest. So you're chasing down Rupert. Uh, pretty much, you got to try kill yourself. What I did, I don't know. It's like the f after the first three jumps. Was it when you climb up the wall, jump past the train, run after him? Yeah. You come up to the window bit, don't press any buttons. I, I basically committed suicide, jumped down to the bottom. That was pretty much it for this chapter. That is the nest. All you have to do is either kill yourself before the train or kill yourself on the window when you're jumping for it. So I kind of don't make it. So the next one, and this is a bit trickier. It's uh, the bridge. You're basically uh, you're talking to Hank. You've got to make him hostile. No matter what, you've got to make him hostile. In, I've, I fucked it up a little bit by saving the e girls in the Edens Club because I was the one who's going a different way. But no, kill him. Absolutely fucking slaughter him. So yeah, when you kill him, you got to be cold as you can. Cold, cold, cold to hang. So he gets pissed off with you. And then all you have to do is fucking let him headshot you. That is pretty much it. you just got to make him hostile. That's all I can say for that one. The next one. It's the Stratford Tower. Uh, pretty much. I don't know how to explain this. you got to make the guards come up. Or you don't. And then uh, pretty much. you got to go to the CCTV footage. On the right hand side. Of the whole display. The big one at the back. Where the uh, TV is. you got to go to the right. And then you got to go to the kitchen. And then you got to interrogate. I don't know what's his name. You can basically got to interrogate the three androids. The one on the far left, he's the deviant. So basically, go at him. 
Just go at him. And then basically, let him kill you. And when he kills you, you've got a minute and 40, uh, a minute and 30 seconds. And then basically just waste time. Just don't touch anything. Just die out. And that's pretty much it. Or I think there's another option where you could go kill yourself when he's on the run. The android is on the run where you are safe Hank. And then he kills you because you protected Hank. But other than that, yeah, that's the Stratford Tower. Right. This one is a uh, last chance Connor. What you got to do, you got to make Gavin suspicious. Hank leaves because he quits and retires. So you've got to go find out where Jericho is. So pretty much, you've got to make Gavin suspicious. You've got to go locate Jericho. And then Gavin comes back. What you need to do is you have a fight with Gavin. And then let Gavin win. He'll pretty much beat the living shit out of you. And then, and then give you a headshot. That's pretty much it for this chapter. Uh, easier said than done. But yeah. All you have to do is get Gavin to kill you. On to the next one. Right. So the next one's Crossroads. You kill Marcus. So you can't become deviant. You have to kill him off just to become so you don't get that choice to become deviant. So when you become deviant, you've got basically talk to North. Once you talk to North, uh, the police come and all that. So you go down into the boat, and then you run. You run in. And the police guy comes up. All you have to do is let the police guy just shoot you. That's pretty much it. You don't have to fight with him. You don't have to do do none of that. Just basically let let, let him shoot you. That, that's pretty much it. And then after that, you get the uh, trophy because you do the cutscene with Hank. Hank commits suicide and once he's committed suicide, that's pretty much it. The tro trophy is done, but I did another one after it because uh, why not? And that one, oh, I don't even know. Battle of Detroit? Yeah, Battle of Detroit is not. A so you kind of, you got your sniper. And the police come. What I did, I flee. Or you can fight with him and lose your fight. I just flee and just fucking jumped off the building. That's pretty much it. And it's one more, but I didn't take that option. Uh, it's at the end with North. And uh, you basically, when you got your gun, you don't press anything and you both shoot each other. That's pretty much it for this uh, video. Hope you liked it and uh, stay tuned for more trophy guides and uh yeah adios